In this second tutorial, we will see the project settings of Idea Statica connection. To open the project settings, first we will go to the project tab and then, we select the units from the menu on the left. Here, we can select all the possible units for, some structural elements and forces, materials and results. And simply using the drop-down menu, we can choose another type of unit to represent the values in each field. Both metric and imperial system implemented here in drop-down lists. Both metric and imperial system implemented here in drop-down lists. We can also modify the precision of the units listed in that screen. If we choose a lower degree for precision, Idea Statica does this calculation but rounds the result. But internally, Idea Statica save the exact result. Additionally, we can export or import all our configurations, if we want to share it with another team. Once we modify the units that we want, all we have to do is click the apply button to save the configuration. More options about the working screen can be found in preferences. Here at the top, we can edit the program language. If you change the language, you need to restart the program to apply this language correctly. As you can see, there is a default logo, here, and we can insert our company's logo by using this customer's logo button. Moreover, we can modify the colors which are used in working screen. This color palette represents the colors on the model. For instance bolts and welds are yellow, plates, columns and beams are blue and so on. All I have to do to modify these colors is, simply select the related line and click on here. By using these theme colors, I can modify the color of any object. Or I can use this color palette by clicking here, and I can choose what I want from these numerous color tones. If I change the color of, for example the members, to take a particular screenshot, and then I want to reset to default settings, I can use this default setting button. Finally, in this 3D presentation section, we can find some advanced options. Here we have an option that can accelerate the hardware. And once we make all the changes, we need to click on apply to save new options.